Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is NAB Show Live. Ryan Saddles are here with another edition of NAB Show Live and Broadcast Beats pre-NAB Show coverage. Today we've got Keith Pelletier, Vice President and General Manager at Die Electric. How are you doing, sir? Very well. Yourself? Doing well. So you guys have been popular in the high-powered television industry for a long time. Talk about low power. Absolutely. If you look at our Power Light series and our high power um, product line, um, we've got a lot of similarities between the two. Um, on the high power side, it's, it's more focused to the three to five year repack uh, plan, um, coming out with a lot of new product, DASP, uh, which is engineering software that's going to aid the customer to get uh, the technical specs that he needs moving forward. Uh, and PowerLite is, is a longer term market. It's the low power market. Uh, if you look at low power in the, in, the, in the U.S. or North America, it's very common to a lot of the other markets internationally. Um, so obviously, want to want to serve those customers and be there past the, the, the repack. Uh, there's very common elements to both uh, both the high power market and the power light. If you look at human resources, we use the same technical uh, resources, a lot of technical resources with the design software and um, and, and applications to get the product to uh, the cut end user. And, and at the end of the day, both products have a very high quality um, and, and stand behind the dielectric name. So Keith, with, with Spectrum Repack underway right now, um, I assume you guys are well positioned to relocate channel assignments, right? Absolutely. When you look at uh, the database and what we did for the DTV Repack uh, or the DTV transition from analog, um, a lot of the install base uh, is, is dielectric. So we're going to take advantage of the technical data that we have in place. Uh, and, and leverage that again with our customers to understand what they need moving forward. Um, and, and we've got an expanded portfolio with UHF filters, VHF filters, and antennas for both to uh, be prepared for what the customer needs moving forward into the repack. All right, so if I'm going to the 2016 NAB show, I'm a broadcaster. What products and services am I looking for at the dielectric booth? Yeah, at the dielectric booth, uh, there's, there's quite a bit of uh, products, new products coming out. We're, we've got... Uh, um, products po focused on the, the on the repack, so high power television, both uh, filters, combiners, and antennas that are that are broadband auxiliary systems that are ready to go for for our end users that are uh, both in the UHF and VHF band, um, and also not forgetting about FM. We've got a, quite a few products, uh, antenna products, and uh, filtering and combining products that are uh, that are going to hit the floor. Uh, for NAB. And so ATSC 3.0 is another thing that's on the horizon right now, or at least it's a, it's a hot topic. Uh, go ahead and, and talk about how you guys are, are working on infrastructure systems for that. Yeah, absolutely. With ATSC, um, as far as trial support, we're supporting our, our parent company, Sinclair and One Media, on any trials that they're uh, currently undergoing. And also with the Pearl Group, uh, we're working with them on, on um, getting systems in place. To, to be tested and trialed. So a lot of dielectric product being used for ATSC uh, testing. Uh, and if you look at some of the, the stuff that we're looking at, um, you know, ATSC 3.0 will be an OFDM signal, which has higher peak to average power ratios. So when we look at antenna and transmission line, we believe based on the passband and also the, the, the high safety margins that those products that we have in place today and products moving forward will have plenty of safety margin. The one thing that we're keeping an eye on in, in working with uh, Sinclair and Pearl is understanding the, the passband and the, the filter filtering characteristics um, and, and better understanding the peak to average power ratios and what they're going to be to, to make sure that uh, our, our uh, filtering is is adequate. And if it's not, understanding, you know, we have to go to a six pole, do a cross coupled uh, filtering system or an eight pole system and and Based on our broad product portfolio, we understand that um, any R&D de development that we have to do to make sure we're ATSC 3.0 ready, it's going to be quick deployment uh, based on the vast uh, product that we have out there currently. All right. So Keith Pelletier, Vice President, General Manager at Dielectric. You guys are a great company. You've been around a long time. I certainly want to see you at the 2016 NAB show. Go ahead and share your booth number, sir. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, Central Hall 2213.